So now let us see the responsive project right over here and the options that responsive project provides. So I'm going to go over here onto the responsive project and I'm going to click on create just like this. Once I click on create, you can see that the layout has been loaded for a responsive project. So over here on the top right hand side, you can see that there's this handle right here, which I can squeeze and stretch. I can also do this. So let me just uh, drag in a shape right over here, something like um, an oval right over here. So if I were to use the resize tool right over here, you can see how it'll look on different screen sizes, just like this as I drag around. So over here, there's layout preview as well. So this is the desktop view. Uh, so this is how it would look on an iPhone. This is how it would look on an iPad and so forth. So I can actually go over here and choose uh, the layout preview just like that according to what I want. I can also go over here, add in custom, uh, um, add in like custom within height just like this and then try that out as well. So I have custom within height right over here. If I were to add in the custom preset right over here, I'm just going to say to the tube over here, press OK. And now a new layout preview has been added, just like that. You can also press the play button to animate through the different screen sizes, just like that, as you can see as well. So it shows you how it would look on different screen sizes dynamically, just like that as well. So those are a few of the options available for uh, the view right here. So there's the film, film strip right over here. As you can see on the left side, you can keep on adding a new slide, different slides right over here, like a blank slide, a content slide and so forth. So if you add in a content slide, you can see that you have the options right over here. You can add in something like a video de demo and you, you can add that in and so forth. So you can add in different slides over here as well. So this is how a fluid grid looks like. And in later lessons, we're going to look at how to work with objects in the fluid grid layout. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.